Uriel, awaken. The end of days is upon us. The process is complete. As it should be. But, Uriel, I have made mistakes. The Talos Principle's large expansion, The Road to Gehenna, is now out. Here are my thoughts and a few tips and tricks to get you going. First of all, The Road to Gehenna has a really cool story. It's not every day when God calls you up and tells you he's made a mistake. You play as a messenger of Elohim named Uriel, and you've been tasked with rescuing some poor souls that have been imprisoned in a secluded part of the simulation. There is some narrative urgency as your mission takes place during the death throes of the server. Don't worry though, while this forms an enticing backdrop to the proceedings, there isn't actually a time limit on your mission. One big difference between the original game and this DLC is that there are more characters that exist at the same time as you. You get to know them through charming interactions on the beeping Ian computers in each area. I could go on, but I don't want to spoil any surprises. There are four worlds, each with four main puzzles, not counting the collection of the various stars, but I'll get to that in a minute. These puzzles are pretty tough. This expansion is meant for experienced players, and as such, the puzzles on display here don't hold back. To solve all the main puzzles, it took me maybe, I don't know, like, eight hours. So you get a lot of brain-busting bang for your buck. My main piece of advice is, think outside the box. Way outside the box. There are times when I tried something that I thought would be totally crazy that ended up working perfectly. A few times I did things that I'm still not sure were actually the right way to do it or just some crazy exploit, but either way, the puzzles never feel dissatisfying. When you solve a puzzle, it makes you feel like a super genius. It makes you so happy that you could almost do a jig. Just like in the main game, the road to Gehenna is riddled with strange secrets that take shape in bizarre and unexpected ways, sometimes leading outside the game itself. One might just be an inside joke nod to someone on their forums, I'm not really sure. But either way, the secrets are fun, humorous, and worth seeing through. 01100111011011100 Get the stars, and if possible, get them as you go. I was hoping to have all the stars by the time I did this video, right now I have about half of them. The last half is proving very challenging. I'm going a little insane. One of the stars, I broke a box out of a puzzle and jumped up to get, only to later spend a while getting this crazy fan to work that would have just thrown me right into it anyway. The one that's really giving me trouble is the one in the middle of Crater. I've gotten all the fans working, I'm just bouncing back and forth. I can't jump to the box, I don't know what I'm not seeing. Give me the star, Gehenna, you sons of bi- Take your time, and above all, have fun. There's no rush, and it's not a competition. Just enjoy giving your brain a workout. Keep your cool. I'd give The Road to Gehenna a completely unofficial score of like, uh, 9.5. I don't really have any problems with it. I'm having a really good time and there's only like two of those stupid time recording puzzles. So hey, if you like laser puzzles and thoughtful interesting narratives and probably if you beat the main game, The Road to Gehenna is for you. Check it out and let us know what you think of it. Undo my mistake.